Same story here. Secure the street.
has been making progress towards the presidential palace. Uh, incredibly, they've been met with no resistance or force. We have heard sporadic gunfire and what may have been explosions or distant artillery fire. We're not sure, but so far the march has proceeded right through the heart of Moscow without a single incident of violence. At this point, my best guess is that military support for the coup has all but dissolved. The gunfire we've heard may well have been from fighting amongst coup supporters. Uh, we have had some reports of a few soldiers having been killed, but well ahead of this procession. Uh, those are still unconfirmed, but it may show that those responsible for the coup are turning on one another even now. Uh, we're not far from the palace. I can actually just see the top of it from here. Now, in just a few more minutes, we should have a very good idea of how this situation is going to be resolved, if at all. Это движение возглавляют воры и кровопийцы. 
Я не намерен подчиниться им. Я буду бороться вместе с вами. Magnetic should give us a peek at what's going on inside. They gotta know we're coming. We'll breach, but we're not going through the door. Looks pretty solid. Walls are thin enough. We're gonna punch some holes. Stack up. position. On my mark. Go, go! This was just a, a complete and total collapse of an illegitimate government. And yes, we, we can now confirm that there were indeed signs of earlier fighting as coup forces turned on themselves. But all of that seems to have happened before we reached oh, the area. The, the people have captured, we've heard, Sergei Mahmudov, the self-proclaimed president. His trusted general Bukharov was found dead in his headquarters, uh, apparently assassinated by his own security forces. We'll try and continue coverage as long as we can, but from the looks of it, I'd say it's...